More than 15,000 homes have been evacuated. People affected by the fires are tired and scared. Many are staying in hotels wondering if they'll have anything left to go home to. News 13's Ariana Kraft spoke with families from Mora who got some help today. We have a lot of heritage in there. It is where I grew up. It is where I learned how to ride a bicycle. It's where I swam in its acequias. So it's painful to me to see my home up in smoke. For weeks, people in Mora have been fleeing their homes to escape the flames that are taking over their land. Mora means everything to me. I've lived there all my life. It, it's heartbreaking. I, I miss my backyard. I miss my land up in Murphy Canyon. It's, it's bad. Some families have had to move around to different evacuation sites. State Representative Roger Montoya is trying to help fundraise to get evacuees a more stable, safe place to stay. He says it's hard to watch the devastation unfold. The situation in the mountains physically is horrific. It's apocalyptic to see this beautiful place burning literally. Representative Montoya was able to help some families with accommodations at the cities of Gold Casino in Powake, where the Santa Fe Food Bank also brought food for evacuees. We're misplaced uh, because of this, and we want to thank the people that have gener generously given and is still giving. To our people in our community. People who have evacuated say it's difficult not knowing what things look like back home. The thought that your house is alone and that there's thieves around and you're, you're not really comfortable, you know. It's just been a struggle. It's just been hard. We're thinking of everybody, praying for everybody and just hoping that we get to see all the people back from Mora. The fires are also taking a toll on the children who have been out of school and away from everything they're familiar with. It's really heartbreaking that I, the fire's behind our house. My dad is out there fighting the fire for us. All these people's houses breaking down. That they save. And I just wanted to thank all you people for giving us this food and this water. But these young kids are holding on to hope because they know what kind of community they come from. Mora will be back. That's a, for, that's a guarantee that I, will, that I know. People in Mora are strong. We, we are resilient. People in Mora will rebuild. And, and it might take a while, but I promise that we will be back in Mora. Ariana Kraft, KRQE News 13. If you would like to help evacuees, you can donate to the All Together New Mexico Fund. We've put a link on our website under alwaysonkrqe.com.